you don't work in a laboratory or as a researcher, adding a little science to your life can make things much easier. Just a little bit. Uh, <laughs> at least that's what our next guest says. Anissa Ramirez, she is a scientist and host of the new podcast, Science Underground. Anissa, welcome back here to CT Style. It's Thank nice you. To it's have great you. to be here. Yes. So I want to share with you some of the top podcasts that we've had. Okay. And one is Taste With Your Nose. Okay. Uh, when we think about taste, we usually think about our tongue, but actually our nose is significant. Mm. So let's try this little experiment. And people can do this at home. Just get a you know, get a jelly bean, mm -hmm. hold your nose first. Uh, no, don't oh. shove it up don't your nose. Don't shove it up your nose. Really no, 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 no. Oh, okay. Right, so hold your nose and put the jelly bean in your mouth. Should I try this Yes, too? please, yeah. And well, if you're I'm at home, get some flavor. coffee. Hold your nose before okay. you take a sip of coffee. Right? Hold your nose, put the jelly bean in, chew. So right now you're tasting things, but you're probably just tasting the sweet part. But you can't I don't know what it is. Okay. I don't taste All anything. Right. So what are you talking about? Let go of your nose. Blueberry. Blueberry, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Same one. Too? We have the same one. Oh, yeah. That's, when you think about your tongue, it's salty, sweet, bitter, sour, mm. savory. That's what your tongue does. But your nose does all the other flavors. Then it really so brings it in. when you're sick, the reason why you can't taste anything is because your nose is clogged. Oh, that yeah. makes sense. That's right. So tasting is actually with yeah. your nose. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, that's right. So today we're not going to have to count anything, right? No counting. I, I, no. Thank <laughs> you. Thank you. Because last time these <laughs> was on really Janice County. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. It was a test. Yeah, the other thing is that, our, so you're dashing out of the house, you've yeah. got coffee, you're afraid of spilling, mm -hmm. what do you do to make sure that you're not going to spill? Put a little bit of foam on top. Scientists have shown that if you have two beverages, one with foam on it, one without foam on it, and if you jiggle them, the one without foam will slosh more than the one with foam. Huh. Oh. Ends up that the bubbles are pushing against each other, they're eating up the energy of sloshing. Oh. So if you're dashing out, put a little bit of foam. I know that we're all trying to lose a little bit of weight, but you yeah. don't like need a lot. Like a little latte. A little latte, and that will prevent it from spilling. Oh, the bubbles. Nice. Okay. Yeah. No, right, you're no, not that. supposed to do oh, that. That's, oh, that's oh, apple oh, cider. Oh, we can't drink on TV. <laughs> I forgot about that. A little apple early cider. for that. Oh, it's apple cider? It's apple cider. In Go for it. Yeah, yeah. Go right for it. Yeah. Mm. Might right. be a little stale. All right. So you're in the shower, you want to see the mirror when that's you get right. out. That's right. You want to brush your hair, you can't see. You can't. Now, one thing that people usually do is they use the blow dryer. That's right. Yeah. Mm. That is yeah. But you got to be careful because yeah. there's water. So the other True. thing you can do is if you add a little bit of shaving cream, just add a little shaving cream to the surface of the mirror, right? This is prior to getting in the shower? Prior, before yeah, it gets yeah, all wet? Before it gets all wet. Okay. And then wipe that off. And when you go into the shower where you had the shaving cream, there won't be any, there won't Come be any I'm water trying that as soon as I go home. Yeah, that is right. fantastic. Yeah. So, and it'll last for a couple of weeks. How did you figure that out? Oh, I went to a She's fancy. A I know you're a scientist. <laughs> no, I, I, went a, genius. I went to a fancy uh, hotel and yeah. I came out of the shower and I didn't see anything. On, I was like, what's going on? So I asked the lady, I said, what do you do? And yeah. she's like, shaving cream. Wow. And then I later found out that, uh, you know when you have a car, it's brand new yeah. and it's got the beads of water. Mm. That's what happens when you have fog on the, on the, uh, on the mirror. But. What the shaving cream does is it makes the water spread out. The water doesn't go away, but it's just spread out mm. so that you're able to see it. You can it. see a little bit more. That's right. Learn so shaving cream. Yeah. Every yeah. time she comes on. That's look fantastic. very interesting. Yeah. If you're standing there in the bathroom like this, you're just, you know, going like, Rah. Oh, goodness. Oh, this is before you go into oh, the shower. Right, right, right. Yeah, no, yeah, I know. Yeah, and, then yeah. you, and then you wipe it down. He just right. really wants to like, make it. He just wanted to do this. No, no, I'm just trying to prove a point how weird it would look. Now, all this, when you put it into the into your foggy bathroom, won't have any fog on it. I love it. But I'm you got to be it. careful. Don't put it on plastics because shaving cream kind of reacts with So people will want to put it on their sunglasses. Don't mm. do that. Just put glass. It, just glass. Just glass. Great. Some, some yeah. good tips hey, where can today. we listen to your podcast? Uh, I'm on iTunes, SoundCloud, si uh, Science Underground. We explain science in two minutes. I love it. That's all we could use. That's all we need. We, we all <laughs> need it. a little bit of that. All right. <laughs> thank you for being here and thank, thank you at you. home for watching, everyone. Have a great day.